Oh, I hit go. Do you want to go? Go ahead. Hey everybody, this is Brian from The Lots Project and today I want to do a little run through and review of the three types of hand warmers I use here in Minnesota. Uh, you might have heard that it gets kind of cold here and uh, we're in February right now. It's actually like 35 degrees outside, beautiful day. Uh, I did come in and was thinking about the hand warmer uh, write-ups I did on the website. And I was like, oh, I was, gonna, I was gonna do a video about that before the end of the season. And now it's 35, we're winding out winter, but I did look at the forecast and it's supposed to be in the low negatives uh, uh, next week. So it's still gonna be plenty cold. But another thing that came up is right now and in the next couple months is a great time to purchase these. Uh, they go on sale at the end of the cold season and stores want to get them out of stock. So keep your eye open for any of the three of these products right now. Um, I will have Amazon affiliate links in the show notes for each one of them. And uh, yeah, put them on a, a price watch list. And if they tick down, pick them up, store them for next year. And yeah, your hands will be warm. So with that taken care of, let's talk about the three types of hand warmers I use here in Minnesota. And I'm going to start with the cheapest and uh, I've probably gone away from it the most. I use them for other things too, but um, yeah, I, uh, I don't use them all that much, but they were the first one I did use when I moved out to the farm, especially and back when I was living in the cities and just hunting or doing outdoor activities in the winter. Uh, so the cheapest and uh, most reliable really uh, hand warmer that I've used and you can get them in a foot model or whatever is uh, the old good old iron powder uh, shake them heat up manual hand warmer uh, basically you open the package uh, you open the package and shake them a little bit get the oxygen mixing with the iron powder on the inside you let them sit for a second they warm up you throw them in your pockets they're there they last I don't know these say 10 hours I've had them last anywhere for from not start not work to uh, still burning away 12 14 hours later so I guess it all de depends on how quickly the iron oxidizes oxidizes on the inside of the package uh, they say that they get up to uh, average of 125 degrees, uh, maximum of 154 degrees. So I suppose if uh, they really get a lot of oxygen flow into them really quickly, the oxidize, the chemical reaction goes quicker. They don't last as long, but they get hotter quicker. Um, they are nice to throw in your boots uh, once they start warming up. This one's actually warming up uh, already and it expired, I don't know how, iron expires, I guess if this is leaking oxygen in here, it'd slowly, uh, slowly make it inactive, but uh, two of 21, so a year ago this expired. Uh, it's getting warm. Uh, yeah, they're cheap. These are the ones to look for right now uh, at your sporting goods stores or your hardware stores that are trying to clear off their shelves of them in the summer. So they'll be running out of them, not ordering them, wanting to get off the shelf. So just keep your eye out. You can pick up deals on these. Uh, yeah, they last forever. Look at the expiration dates on them, but you know, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, these are also good for oxygen absorbers in say sealing dry goods for long-term storage. Uh, those O2 absorbers they sell are the same damn thing as these. So you throw one in the bucket, be sure you take it out of the package and seal the bucket once all, it'll use the oxygen to oxidize the iron. Once it's all the oxygen's gone, there's nothing there. Um, yeah, so any gets back in there, O2 absorber. That's great. So. Number one was, I guess this brand is Heat Factory. Everybody makes them. They work really good. So I then discovered after using those for a while, a Zippo uh, lighter fluid. So the good old Zippo fluid, um, little flip open top here, squeeze it in the Zippo. I don't know if you haven't had a Zippo, maybe you've seen it, but yeah, basically it's lighter fluid, butane, no, it's not butane, uh, light petroleum distillate is actually what it's called. So yeah, anyway, this hand warmer uses that and it actually comes with a little uh, container that you fill up that has a measuring line on it. 
I've used it enough that I know how long to squirt the stuff in there, how saturated to get the, get the filament to make it work. But this one is almost like a lighter. Now, this one burns. Once you start it, um, depending on how much fluid you add in, uh, I've had it burn anywhere from four to, oh, I don't know, going on 10, 15 hours because I went to sleep, woke up, and it was still warm in my uh, jacket pocket the next morning on a hunting trip once. So that burned for probably a good 18 hours. But all it is is a little filament. It's almost like a lighter. And you can see it in there. That's just a bunch of lighter um, material on the inside. I don't think it comes apart any further than this. But anyway, you squirt the lighter fluid in there. Saturate the fluid. Put the burner cover on. You light it. It'll flame a little bit. Blow it out put the cover over it, and it radiates heat. You put this in the little bag, close up the bag, and you throw it in your pocket. So as that burns, it warms up, it warms up the metal. It's not really an open flame, it's kind of, it is, but it's not, it's not gonna burn anything. I've never had them catch on fire, I've used them plenty of times. Um, and what happens is this, Fabric warms up, the metal warms up, everything kind of warms up. You sit it in your pocket, the material on the inside of your pocket warms up, um, and you throw your hands in there, and if you got a chill on your hands, if you're doing something, you can't wear gloves. Every time your hands get chilled, you just got to throw them in your pocket, and this is in there, and it's just a warm space. It's a kind of a buffer. Uh, warm up your hands. They're not going to go in your gloves. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have plenty of pair of gloves that have like a little zip pocket that these will go into, this won't fit into and our next item will not fit into. So that's another thing these are good for is the there's outdoor clothing, especially winter outdoor clothing, higher quality brands that do provide spaces for you to put these into your gloves or your boots or your jacket. So check for that. Um, sometimes you don't even know, you think it's like a little change pocket, but then you really think about it and it's for a hand warmer. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this kind of just keeps the environment in your pocket warm. Um, I would love to use this in my pocket at work, but since I work around petroleum products and gas stations and gas fumes and highly flammable things, I don't think it's wise to even have a small flame, uh, anything burning. So I can't use this at work, but it's great for hunting trips, uh, outdoor long work days, um, stuff like that. You just fill it in the morning. Uh, like I said, it comes with a little container I figured out how long I got to saturate it, so I just do it by eye, and I don't have the container anymore, but it comes with one when you buy one. Um, fill it up, light it, throw it in your pocket, forget about it. It's just there to keep you warm. So, uh, yeah, I got a link for this. Show notes below. Pick it up. I don't know if these goes on sale. I have to imagine that, um, that they would. It's not really a summer item, so, yeah, check those out. The last one that I use, and... Uh, this one has a couple different purposes, so I like it, uh, as do the, uh, the first, I, the first uh, manual hand warmers, but this is an electronic hand warmer. And how this works is you charge it up, comes with a cord. So if you look at the top here, there is an input and an output. So when you want to charge this up, you plug in the cord that comes with it, plug it in, plug it into a USB end, blue light lights up, it flashes till it's done. Once it has 4,400 milliamp hours of power in it, uh, it stops flashing, it's fully charged, you let it sit, carry it around, and when you want to use it, you hit the button, and the red light comes on. What that's doing is turning on a resistor in there, the power's flowing through it. This case will warm up, it's an aluminum case. These are removable silicone pieces that kind of protect it, seal it from the weather. You can use actually the power button uh, with this closed. 
There is power button, you can click it on and off, but uh, you cannot see what color the, the light is. The light colors are red for getting warm. And then if you plug in a USB to the out port and plug in your device and hit that a second time and turn it green, this is a little battery backup. Now it's only 4,400 milliamps. Um, that's not a ton, but it can get you by in a pinch. And if you have the cord with you, you can charge this a bunch of times um, off your computer and just transfer the power if for some reason you don't have the direct plug into your computer or um, yeah, it's just easy to charge. It warms up pretty quick. The way I use it is I'll warm it up since it warms up so quick, I will turn it on, let it warm up, warm up my hands, and then I'll turn it off and conserve that power. So it's a, a short blast of heat, uh, as opposed to this, where it's just a constant steady heat in your pocket or the manual first ones, uh, the iron powder. Uh, this is more of an on off, warm my hand, turn it off. Uh, and then, yeah, I carry this all year round, like in my work truck. I'll have it so that if my phone's dying, uh, I need to make a call or whatever, at least I know I have a little bit of juice that I can use here. Um, if my truck's, if my va uh, service van's dead or whatever, uh, if I'm in the back room and I'm on a call, uh, we do a lot of uh, over the phone support. So I'm able to, if I have my phone cord and I'm in a back room and I don't have a plug in, all I have is the USB. I got this in my pocket, boom, boom, boom. And it's small, lightweight. I just throw it in my van, uh, throw it in a hunting bag and a, and a blind bag for uh, waterfowl hunting, a deer stand, your backpack, uh, all sorts of things. Ski trips, be great. Uh, yeah, I love this one. I use this all the time. I always have one of these with me. Um, if it's cold out, if it's supposed to be cold out, and even in the summer, like I said, it's, it's a tiny battery backup and very portable. So yeah, that is kind of the, the long and short of the three hand warmers that I use on a day-to-day -day basis throughout the winter in Minnesota. So <clears throat> if you wanted to read about uh, any of these, head over to thelothproject.com. I got some other product reviews over there. Uh, you can check out, there's Amazon links to different stuff. We have, uh, we have affiliate links with other companies that I use and endorse. So head on over there. The link for thelotsproject.com is in the show notes here. And so, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.